Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. So today's hidden figure is Jane Cortez, born May 10th, 1934, and died December 28th, 2012. She was a Black American poet, activist, small press publisher, and spoken word performance artist whose voice is celebrated for its political, surrealistic, and dynamic innovations in lyricism and visceral sound. Her writing is part of the canon of the Black arts movement. Jane Cortez was born Sally Jane Richardson on an army base in Arizona on May 10, 1934. Her father was a career soldier who would serve in both world wars, while her mother was a secretary, and Richardson's parents collected jazz and Latin recordings, encouraging her to get involved in music and art. From a young age, she grew up listening to Bessie Smith, Duke Ellington, Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, and Dinah Washington. Washington's vocals would be influential to Cortez's spoken word style, which was usually written, chanted, and spoken in rhythmic repetition. At the age of seven, Jane Cortez and her family moved to Los Angeles, where she grew up in the Watts District. She studied art, music, and, and drama excuse me, in high school, and later attended Compton Community College. She took the surname Cortez, the maiden name of her maternal grandmother, early in her artistic career. In 1954, Cortez married jazz saxophonist Ornette Coleman at the age of 18. Their son was born in 1956, but in 1964, Cortez and Coleman divorced, and Cortez founded the Watts Repertory Theater Company, of which she served as artistic director until 1970. Active in the struggle for civil rights, she strongly advocated using art as a vehicle to push political causes, with her work being used to register black voters in Mississippi in the early 1960s. She traveled through Europe and Africa and moved to New York City in 1967. In 1969, her first poetry collection, Piss, Stained, Stairs, and the Monkey Man's Wares, was published. Cortez went on to become the author of 11 other books of poems and performed her poetry with music on nine recordings. Most of her work was issued under Bola Press, a publishing company she founded in 1971. She presented her work and ideas at universities, museums, and festivals in Africa, Asia, Europe, South America, the Caribbean, and the United States. Her poems have been translated into 28 languages and widely published in anthologies, journals, and magazines. Writers she identified with included Langston Hughes, Amiri Baraka, and Richard Wright. She cut her first album, Celebrations and Solitudes, at White Plains, New York in 1974. A set of duets with bassist Richard Davis, it was released on the Strata East label. The first Bola Press recording, taped in October 1979, was called Unsubmissive Blues. Cortez delivered her poetry backed by an electro-funk modern jazz group called the Fire Spitters, and her poetry, spoken word, and jazz renditions were all combined to form avant-garde jazz recordings. In 1975, she married sculptor and printmaker Melvin Edwards, and they lived in both Senegal and New York City. During the summer of 1982, Cortez delivered There It Is, an album that included pieces like If the Drum is a Woman and utilized repetition and chanting over an escalating free jazz instrumental. Recorded in 1986, her next album, Maintain Control, included tracks such as No Simple Explanations, Deadly Radiation Blues, and Economic Love Song, which is another song built around repetition rituals and the words military spending, huge profits, and death. Other albums included Cheerful and Optimistic, released in 1994, Taking the Blues Back Home, released in 1996, and Borders of a Disorderly Time, which appeared in 2002. Her pieces expressly explored issues of race, gender, class, and politics, and she appeared on screen in the films Women in Jazz and Poetry in Motion by Ron Mann. Cortez had a strong influence upon the development of spoken word performance art during the late 90s and early 2000s, as she was an early adopter of confrontational political outspokenness and deadpan performance technique. Cortez died of heart failure in Manhattan, New York on December 28, 2012. A memorial celebration of her life occurred on February 6, 2013 at the Cooper Union Foundation Building in New York City. 
It included tributes by Amiri Baraka, Danny Glover, and more, in addition to musical contributions by Randy Weston, TK Blue, and the Fire Spitters. And I wanted to end this video with one of Jane Quintez's quotes, which is, find your own voice and use it. Use your own voice and find it. Jane Cortez and figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. There will be links in the description box. Good for that as always. See you guys next time.